Hi everybody, so in video 2099 we made this, which is a wind turbine based on a sycamore seed, or as we used to call them, spinning jennies. The group name for them is a Samara seed. But it worked quite well, I thought, and in the video I pointed out how similar this was to the shape of a whale fin, particularly a humpback whale, with the exception of the leading edge being covered in little, little bumpy bits, and those bumpy bits are called tubercles. And it does make you ponder whether those tubercles in fact have a function or they're just bumpy bits. The first person to ponder this was a marine biologist called Frank Fish. And with a name like Fish, you really have to end up being a marine biologist, don't you? And he asked himself the question of what effect that would have on the whale's ability to swim and turn and be aerodynamic in the water and he got together with an engineer, an aviation mechanical engineer called Philip Watts and they investigated this and produced a paper on it. What they found was the nodules actually concentrate the areas of lift between the nodules and both increase lift and decrease drag and it's significant in the region of 15 to 20 percent which is huge of course what they did was make a patent on it the patents are funny things incidentally one of the things a patent doesn't cover is private use. You can do this as long as it's non-commercial or you can do it for education and research papers. Patents protect commercial use. So putting it into a patent means for private use anybody can do this and that made me think okay what about if I stick some of those nodules or tubercles along this shape seeing as this shape is so much like a whale's fin would that give me an improvement? And of course the first step is to stick a load of tubercles on, which is exactly what I've done here. Now, of course, I'm going to update the file in Thingiverse and add this as an extra print if somebody else wants to test it and see whether it works or not. But I've printed this off. Now let's print off three more and the nose cone. There we are with exactly the same structure, nose cone, two of the fins on and a handle so I can hold it, a bit of steel rod going through two bearings and it's free to spin in the wind. So we put those on in the same way that we put this on in, and we have two of those and now we can have a sort of side by side comparison. So to test that, we've come to a hill near where I live because we get a reasonable amount of wind. I mean, there isn't a lot of wind today anyway, but we'll do that test and the test is going to be pretty simple. We're going to hold the two up together in a wind and see which one turns soonest and which one turns quickest. And that'll give us an idea of whether this is BS or not. Okay, I understand that was a little equivocal. I mean, we're standing on a hill with a couple of these things, but there is a lot of research in this already. So some more facts and figures, I guess we can refer to the paper. But as far as I can tell, it certainly seems to have an impact. So we might try that on a whole host of things like this, which is the Ingenuity Blade. We could try a load of tubercles on there, or we could try it on just a standard blade setup and see what happens. Or we could put it on a VAWT where we put the nodules, the tubercles down there to see if we get an improvement from that. Now, the inventors of this say that it's much broader than just wind turbines. You can also look at things like uh, water turbines. You should get an improvement there. And they say that if you stick it on something 
like a PC fan, it makes the fan quieter and more efficient. So it's a very exciting development, well worth an awful lot of looking into, should anybody feel like picking up and having a look at that as well, and see what we can come up with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Oh, by the way, when the... Um, put something onto Thingiverse. Thingiverse have this really weird policy that just started. Um, it's 24 hours of checking time. So I've been putting up the Thingiverse file and the video at the same time. Now there's a 24 hour wait before the Thingiverse files go live, which is annoying, but just the way it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.